All right, this one is just going to be short and sweet, but I am going to talk to you gentlemen about how to tell if a girl is interested in you. A lot of you already know, and if you do, you should watch it anyway. For those of you who may not be able to pick up on that, I am here to help you. I see it all the time. It's just, I am a female and I know, and I want you to be able to know. Honestly, it's very helpful, <laughs> obviously. Um, hold on, it's crooked and that's making me mad. You know, I'm just, I use this dewy coconut mist on my face, which I, f I love it so much. And everybody on earth would love it if they tried it. It's so relax. It's relaxing, it's soothing, it's fresh, but it's shiny. That's what dewy mist is supposed to do. So usually I will like cover my face, like the points of my face, I don't want to be shiny, like, you know, and then spray around it, but it just doesn't give the same effect. I love how fresh it feels. Wow, what happened to my camera? Hold on. I just changed my lighting. I'm sorry if you hate me, but things are happening with it. It's just, I don't want to talk about it. If you are struggling to know if a female likes you, I'm assuming it's quite difficult to decide whether or not it is a good idea to approach her and start a conversation. And also time and place is important, of course. You have to keep in mind, there are certain settings in which you really need to take time before you approach a female, such as let's say she's at work and you are a customer and you go and visit her and she's cute and you know you kind of like her you have to be careful because if you put her on the spot and ask her out before you're a hundred percent sure or at least 90 percent sure that she likes you back the problem is she is trapped at work and so she's put in a very uncomfortable situation you're allowed to ask anyway but it doesn't really look good on you honestly so you need to know first if she's into you okay so you want to visit a few times whether she's um working in a restaurant she's a server she's a waitress she's um a teller at a bank she's you know barista whatever it is give yourself time to be there and actually kind of chat with her in a non-sexual advancing context you know like it's not clear that you ultimately just want to sleep with her very important because women as much as we do like forwardness we have to deal with a lot of weirdos and creeps out there so it's hard to differentiate when we don't actually know somebody at least a little well whether or not they are actually creepy or if they are just a confident guy and i had just made a video about your posture and your poise that is so important especially when you're actually approaching a female you know to get her attention and ask her out um it will differentiate you from the slimy little worms it will differentiate you and that will really really help but let's move on from all those logistics and just go into the reason you're watching and it's how to tell so here's some romantic cues women give off some of these need to be in conjunction with each other so just hear me out one is eye contact so when i'm personally speaking or i have been speaking to men in the past or just in a professional setting i do make eye contact that is important however i will often break it for a second to look away turn my head find something else to do because it is awkward to gaze into somebody's soul through their eyes and just stare and not move it away but when somebody likes you what they may do is make sure to continue to gaze in your eyes and it doesn't mean if they look away, it's always a bad thing. They may just be nervous, but you can kind of tell if they smile a little when they're looking away. But that eye contact that is prolonged is important because it does show that she is trying to send you a subliminal telepathic message. Um, not always, but the thing is you need to know in the first place that that is a potential reason she's making that eye contact with you. She potentially could be interested so that is something to note and next is uh, when you're speaking to her she's physical with you everybody knows this right but if a female is touching you adjusting you if she puts her hand on you she wants to touch you okay and she may be an 80 year old woman at church she wants to touch you <laughs> because she thinks you're a cutie pie but if it's a woman of you know your age 
Honestly, it's flirtatious. I would never put my hands on unless it's in a professional manner, shaking a hand, or if it's a good friend, a male friend that is, you know, a good side hug, or it's fine. But the thing is the physical touch is definitely a message that they're sending to you. Now keep in mind, and I'm sure you all know this, there are females that honestly just love validation from men and love attention from men, even if they don't specifically have an interest in being with that man that she's touching all over. And that is sad, but it is not your fault that she is a mess. Because somebody who is so insecure that they need that much validation from men, that they'll do all these little manipulative things that females do in order to gain it, you should still, if you're interested in her, you know, because you can't tell right away, you should still feel welcome when she's make, maintaining eye contact with you, and she's touching your arm or whatever, making sure to touch you during conversation, you should feel welcome if you're interested in chatting with her more or getting her phone number because that is a cue that we specifically send off to men. Next is when she gives you compliments and specifically, ideally, about your appearance. Something like, I love your hair. and. Honestly, if somebody just randomly comments your hair, um, on your hair rather, or they compliment your perfume or something like that, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're flirting with you, but alongside the prolonged eye contact and physical touch, the compliments mean something and she's trying to tell you that she finds you attractive in a way that hopefully you can pick up on. So complimenting your hair, that's a part of your body. That is something that she is looking at. She's telling you that it's attractive. If she compliments your teeth, your smile, your eyes, anything like that, as generic as it may seem, she is trying to tell you, I'm physically attracted to you. This doesn't mean, again, if a, a woman just compliments you out of the blue, like the other day, I complimented a man who is a customer on his perfume, and he showed up the next day wearing the same perfume, probably like 10 gallons sprayed all over him. And I couldn't breathe. I thought I was going to die. I started getting a migraine. I like I had to open the windows, but I didn't show that I was like choking, you know, because I didn't want to be rude. And I did compliment him, but he took it to an extreme in return. It was kind of cute and funny, but um, more than anything, it's not bad. But I did not compliment him because I was interested. But if you pay attention, if he paid attention, and I do not think he was interested in me, this is not what I'm saying, but the rest of my interaction with him was extremely professional, cold, not warm. Warm as in friendly, but not warm. And that's something you also want to listen for when she's talking to you. Is she trying to be warm, like honey and sweet to you every time she speaks to you? because that's an important thing to look for. Even if this, let's say it's a long time friend, female friend you have and you're interested in her, think about the way she talks to you. You know, is she warm and buttery with you or is she just always like, cool bro, that's awesome bro, or doing gross things around you. If she's showing that she's not trying to look appealing to you, that may be a sign that she's not interested in you. You know, you can tell that she's trying to put herself together around you. If, oh my goodness, this is such a big one. If every time you look at her, she immediately like, without thinking about it, this happens so much when you're a good looking person, especially you talk to someone and they will start fixing their hair or adjusting themselves. That's a sign that she's probably attracted to you or she, or she finds you attractive. She might be intimidated by you but being intimidated by a man for being masculine and having good presence, even if you don't have the most pretty boy face, it doesn't matter. Sometimes when she talks to you, if you notice she gets nervous, you know, pay attention or she starts stuttering a little or getting embarrassed like really easily. And you're like, why? That's because she likes you. That's because she's interested in you. Am I saying she's in love with you? No, but these are signs to look out for. Like I said, especially alongside each other. Another important one, and this is probably the one I'm going to end with because this video went on longer than I meant it to, but if when you're speaking to this person, if you have got to that point where you can actually converse with her, or even if it's just a chat, you know, in public, you run into each other, there's small talk, right? But if she takes it beyond small talk, she's like, how was your weekend? You're like, oh good, I watched the game, whatever. 
whatever game it is and she's like oh really well who who won and you're like oh this blah 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 she's like Oh yeah, you know, I was just thinking about the players and the nonsense. Even if she doesn't know anything about sports, she's gonna find a way to express interest in your interest. Women will show we have mutual interests with you in order to tell you we are compatible with you. Even if we're not doing it very consciously, it's a subconscious thing that we do to let you know we could be a good partner for you in life. It's actually really simple it's like with friendship you know when you're making a friend with somebody you know it's going to happen you're going to be close if when you bring up something you're interested in malcolm gladwell and they are like who is that tell me about it and they actually express interest it's the same thing with a female when she's interested in you i am always trying to be my most polite self to men but when they start opening up a little bit too much about their personal stuff and i'm not interested in that way i will respond very kindly, simply, one word, two word responses. And that's how you know that's a nice girl, most likely, because she's trying to be pleasant. She's not trying to be offensive and, you know, gross about it, but she is trying to probably let you know she's not interested. Men's version of this, honestly, is just completely ghosting the female, like ignoring her completely. And women are, we try to be a little bit nicer. It's just in our nature. Yes, society has told us that we have to be the nice ones, but it's because it works and we kind of need one person, one party to be the sweet, nice ones. Anyway, side note, ladies, if you're watching and I missed something really important or just something you think men would be interested in hearing, comment it down below. I actually do empathize a lot with men because I would be so stressed if I had to be the party that approached the other gender when I was interested. That would be so stressful for me. I've never been able to even conceptualize doing that. The difference is, you know, when you're friends with someone maybe for a long time and you're close, but even then, I'm the kind of person where I will die with my crush if you do not make the actual first move. What I do and what a lot of females like myself do is we will give you these romantic cues to show you we're interested and hope that you take the reins in the leadership because a man that is a leader is extremely attractive. I even think secretly to women who say they hate it, I think they secretly like it. And when worst comes to worst, the women always run to the strongest, bravest, most confident man in the room. Even if they claim to hate those men, <laughs> they still will when it all comes crashing down. That's just how it is. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one.